So, uh, unfair trading practices in the food supply chain is uh, a very, let's say, hot topic now because there is this new directive which has been approved in April uh, and is going to be implemented in all the legislation in member states. We in Italy, we, we have a specific rule since 12, 20, uh, 12, uh, 2012, sorry. And we, as the antitrust uh, authority in Italy, we have been uh, enforcing this UTP since five years now. The importance of UTP in the food supply chain is due to the fact that the different level of, of the supply chain uh, usually shows different level of concentration. So there are many imbalances between different levels. And these imbalances usually give rise to either bargaining power at some stage or buyer power or both. And so there is, uh, there is often a, a, a weaker party who has to negotiate with a, a stronger one. Usually, as it is the case, the, the weaker party is uh, uh, on the farm side. So we, we are talking about farmers, breeders, uh, people who are producing uh, uh, agricultural goods in order to be re resold to the processing industries or to the retailers. And so uh, the case uh, is uh, that usually these people have to uh, accept uh, clauses uh, or contractual terms which are unilaterally imposed by stronger party which uh, uh, can in some way alter relationships between the party. Uh, in Italy, as the Antitrust uh, uh, Competition Authority, we have dealt with many different cases uh, regarding sector different as the, the sheep milk or the bread. But one main field where this kind of UTP provisions are usually useful is in the relationship between the small or very small firms and the big retailers, where you know usually there are these kind of contractual relations where you know uh, uh, you have these uh, uh, obligations which are usually unilaterally imposed in order to give room for this kind of uh, ability of the retailers to have base for. Uh, promotion campaign or other stuff. We in Italy have may had a, a bunch of those cases against retailers. One of the main reasons uh, why it's so difficult uh, to run these cases is uh, what is called all over Europe as the so-called fear factor. Usually very small firms uh, are really scared of uh, filing a complaint to the agency which is in charge of enforcing the law because they fear the retaliation of the big retailers. Once known, they are afraid of not being able to renew the relationships once the complaint is, is, is known. We in Italy, for instance, we had a case of like that uh, a couple of years ago when an association of firms complained about uh, a, a series of contractual items which a big retailer was imposing on a number of uh, small firms but uh, we open up an ex officio investigation. Once we have uh, made the on-site inspection, found the name of the 28 firms who were actually suffering these, co these contractual items, none of them wanted to confirm the allegation. Uh, and so we had to close the case.